Hey guys, Casey Ferris here. Thanks for checking out another video here on YouTube. Today we're talking about dehazing a shot. This is something I've gotten quite a bit of questions about. You go on some awesome trip, you get a bunch of shots. Usually it's aerial footage or footage like from a high place or footage from like a regular camera from like a high lookout or something like that. And it comes out hazy. And you're hoping that if you do a basic correction or you put a LUT on it, that it will get rid of the haze. But, but let's just load a LUT on this it doesn't really get a whole lot better because LUTs aren't usually designed for a hazy shot. They're designed for a perfect situation. So how do we fix this, make it look a little bit nicer, get rid of some of this kind of muddy haze? The solution's actually pretty easy. So I'm gonna label this LUT, and in my first node, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna call it dehaze. Pretty much the power here is in the custom curves. You're gonna wanna add a subtle contrast curve to kind of get rid of that haze. So. What I'm gonna do is just, just make a basic S-curve and you can see things are already getting better. But you don't wanna just make any S-curve and call it good. You want to adjust it for your exact shot. So even though I have this curve on there and it does make it a little better, it could still be better still. I'm gonna take this top dot and move it around and I'm pretty much just moving it around, looking at the image and seeing what looks best. I'm gonna up and down the line to see if punching higher highlights or lower, lower parts of the image work better and the higher part seemed to work nice maybe I'll make another one in the middle and adjust that adjust the way my shadows are I can push my shadows down quite a bit because I'm not actually darkening the whole shot because I'm not grabbing this part right here this would be see this would start to really darken it we don't want to go too too nuts right there but we can push it quite a bit so now that that's kind of pushed down you see a lot of that haze is gone now, this might be too punchy. If it is, we can just kind of dial it back a little bit, but I do like it. One thing that you'll run into if you add a massive curve like this is that things are gonna look oversaturated. So you can bring down the saturation a little bit. And what I'm doing is looking at the shot as a whole. I'm looking at most of the trees here, making sure those aren't oversaturated. And those look pretty good. This boat is a little bit crazy and we'll have to deal with that in a second. But that has taken a lot of the haze out. Let's look before and here's after. Now, in between that S-curve and the LUT, I'm gonna make another node, and I'm gonna adjust this boat right here. First thing I'm gonna do is select it with the window, and I'll track it just so we're limiting what we're doing. And I can qualify it, and I'm gonna to go to my qualifier and just key that bright orange color. Go to my highlight mode and boost up the width a little bit. Probably gonna want everything around that, especially stuff that's more saturated just the luminance until we have that whole kayak selected. I'll clean the black a little bit, clean the white a little bit. Now we can switch back and we're pretty much just adjusting our boat. So I can bring the saturation all the way down. That's gonna take things down quite a bit. I'm gonna also soften the low luminance and the low saturation so that we don't have those fringes there. I'm gonna reset my saturation and then bring that down to a tasteful level, somewhere like that. Now we have our nice tasteful shot without our colors going crazy. A little bit more balanced. Another thing you can do to kind of add a little bit more punch and depth is I'll add another serial node and I'm gonna grab a gradient window and just put it on the bottom like this. Anytime you have a landscape kind of stretching out into the distance, this is a nice trick. And I'm just gonna bring my gamma down just a touch in the foreground. Then we're kind of enhancing that depth without adding a bunch of haze into the shot. So there you go. Here's without that, here's with it. Might also desaturate that just a little. So let's take a look at all of it. Here's the original shot. Here it is with the LUT applied and our dehaze, our adjustment of the boat and our little darkening the foreground to add some depth. So that's basically how you get rid of dehaze in a lot of shots. This goes a long way. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. If you like this, hit like. And for more color grading tutorials, post-production tutorials, things like that, make sure to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. My name again is Casey Ferris. I will catch you next time.